Okay, today I'm gonna show you how to replace the final drive gear on your M600 motor. So you will need a new final drive gear. Make sure you got the slip ring here, slip sleeve or whatever you wanna call it. It's just part of the one-way bearing inside of the gear. You'll need some grease, a T10 screwdriver, T20 screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, circlip plier, hammer, and a socket. I'm using a 1316, but what you need to find is a socket that has about 28 millimeter in diameter. The reason is pretty simple. You will need to push a seal inside of the final drive gear, so it's much easier to use a socket that fits flush. So, you need to remove the four T10 screws. Start by unplugging this connector, which is a temp sensor, little one right here. Then the next one is this guy. Then remove the big one. And then you can just unplug the uh, phase wires and the battery connector. If you got a V2 controller, be careful when you remove and replace the controller. The uh, circuit board is a little bit bigger and you can scrape the circuit board on the motor and obviously you can damage it, so just be careful. There's one T20 bolt here, one here, here, and on the other side you got one here, here, and here, and there. Then what you need to do is take your screwdriver, there are some spots like here, which is just so you can pry open the case. Don't try to squeeze in a screwdriver like that. There's a gasket around it and you will damage the gasket. So instead just use these slots here and work yourself around it. Eventually it will just pop out. In my case, the motor doesn't have any gasket, but it's just to show you. So, next step is to remove the circlip. Then you can just pull on the gear and it will come out. Let me show you if you want. Like this. Now, once you got the gear out, this is the used one. You need to take your flathead screwdriver and use it to pry this seal here. It's not it looks like rubber, but it's actually a steel ring with a steel spring in it and you need to pry it out. You could try to remove the little metal spring here first and then take your flat head and just pry it from here and you lift. Just work your way around it. If you put too much force in one spot, you'll bend the seal and you'll need a new one. Then take your new gear, put the seal in it, not on that side, but like this. Take your socket. Okay. 
eventually it will sit in the groove. The seal must not go past the metal. It must sit inside here. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the way it should be. You should see some metal rubber cannot sit like flush with the, uh, the metal. Next step, you just need to put back this little spring here and slide the new gear in. Make sure you put some grease on it. Uh, I'm using, uh, it's Mobile 28. You can use also Mobile Grease SHC100. Uh, some are using different types of gear like uh, I've heard of a John Deere cornhead grease, which is supposed to work just fine. I never tested it, but there you go. You just need to make sure to transfer that seal from your old gear to the new one, because if you don't, water will find its way and ruin the bearing here, and also the uh, one-way bearing inside of here. Make sure also, if you remove that part, make sure that this little gasket is at the bottom. Like this. Don't put any grease on the rollers here. They are already lubed, you don't need to put anything on it. If you must, it should be something really, really thin because the roller will stick and eventually it will slip. So, hope that helps.